my luxury regrets video, I said my biggest regret was not buying the Chanel Dad sandals when I first saw them in 2020. I even went as far as to buy three pair of dupes in order to scratch the itch. It did not work. Well, I was finally able to buy a pair. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you about my initial reaction, thoughts about sizing, quality, how to style them, everything. Let's get started. Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. So the Chanel Dead Sandals initially came out in summer of 2019. I don't know what I was doing because I did not see these shoes until February of 2020. I think I was watching a Hilo Lux video and she went to LA on vacation and did some shopping and ended up buying the original pair of Chanel Dad sandals. At that moment, I tried to figure out everything I could about these shoes. So I ended up buying these pair in caviar leather. So the Chanel Dad sandals come in a variety of fabrics and also CCs. These are not the ones I actually wanted initially. I wanted the original pair with what I would consider a button CC. These I would consider a Chanel 19 CC. I have a love-hate relationship with Chanel 19, but that's another video. I've also been seeing a lot of dad sandals with what I would consider like a classic CC, not the Chanel 19 and not the one with the button, like the circle around it, just the traditional two double Cs that you see. But I feel like they're usually like in rubber or some weird material. So the original pair that I wanted are similar to this in that they come in a caviar leather. If you know anything about Chanel bags, you already know what caviar, aka grain calfskin is. It is Chanel's most durable leather. When most people want a Chanel bag, like a Chanel classic flap, they want it in the caviar or grain calfskin. The reason they're called dad sandals is essentially their Chanel's version of the sandals that your dad used to wear on vacation or in the summer. My dad used to wear high socks and tennis shoes, but when the dad sandals first came out, I was actually in the market for a pair of black leather sandals that weren't like super girly. I feel like everything that I've been wearing in the past were like gladiator sandals or something really, really strappy. And I was looking for something that was really stylish and really, really durable. So I don't understand how I missed these when they first came out. <laughs> the Chanel dad sandals are very, very polarizing. I know a lot of people who think that they are ugly. I'm sorry. Can you look at this face and say they're ugly? No. When I think of Chanel, I think of like Parisian chic, feminine with a slightly masculine edge. And this style of sandal, I think epitomizes that aesthetic. So in addition to coming into, in the caviar leather, I've also seen them in denim, tweed, rubber. I was also offered a black fabric that, that had that button CC that I was looking for, but these shoes are super expensive. So for the price, I didn't want to buy the fabric ones. In my mind, I felt the fabric ones weren't gonna be as durable as the caviar leather ones. Let me know in the comments if you love or hate the Chanel Dad sandals. The number one question I get and the number one question I had was sizing. So I bought a 39 and a half. My usual size is a 39. When I was at the store, they only had them in a 39 and a half and a 40. When I tried them on in the store, I felt like a 39 fit perfectly. I was so excited when I bought these. I got them home. I wore them once around the house and really didn't think anything about sizing. But now that I've been wearing them in the house, I feel like I probably could have sized down. Most of the videos that I've seen, for the leather shoes, they're saying you should size down half to maybe even a full size. And for the fabric shoes, you should size down half a size. When I initially bought these, I felt like they fit fine. There's a lip in the front and the back of the shoe. I felt like my foot fit inside of there perfectly. That was like a week ago. Now that I'm wearing them again, I feel like I could have definitely gone down to the 39. The only problem is I can't find the 39 anywhere unless, unless I try to sell these on the resale market and find another pair on the resale market. So initially when these shoes came out, they were a seasonal shoe. I think most of the people who I've seen do, do videos about them are like, these shoes are part of the 21C collection or some other collection. The season code on my box is actually a RUV, which means that these shoes are now part of the collection classic collection that come out every year. So if I end up selling these 39 and a half, I do feel like I might be able to luck up and get a pair of 39 for retail if I'm lucky. Size guys are always tricky. I measure this shoe. The footbed is 11 inches or like approximately 28 centimeters. My actual foot is 10 inches and 24 and a half centimeters. <sighs> So I have a decision to make. You are looking to buy these shoes, definitely size down. Most people have said that if you do get a size that's a little bit too big, you can definitely adjust the straps. I prefer my straps to be right exactly on the Velcro and not super tight, but if I wanted to, I could probably make it tighter so it looks like it fits perfectly but I'm gonna see what I think. I have a wide foot. I recommend sizing down half a size if you have a wide foot. If you have a very narrow foot, you can definitely size down one whole size. In terms of quality, this shoe is gorgeous. If you like Chanel Caviar, then you're gonna love this shoe. I have these Zara dupes that I wore all last summer. I got a lot of compliments on them. They're super, super cute. You can definitely tell that they're inspired by the dad sandal. These shoes were about $59 at Zara. Definitely worth the money. They're not super comfortable. As you can see from one summer of wear, I'm probably gonna have to retire them after summer of 2022. If you were to take the Chanel logo off of this shoe and just put them side by side, 
the quality does not compare. Quality of the leather of this shoe is next to none. It has a padded footbed, which I love. Even the sole of the shoe is leather. My only concern about the sole being leather is I can definitely tell that these shoes are very slick. I live in Chicago and the streets of Chicago will tear up a nice leather shoe. So regardless of which pair I keep, I'm gonna have to put like a rubber coating on them. I will say I have seen some shoes on the resale market that have this part tore up. So that's another reason why I wanna put a rubber coating on the bottom. Currently the suggested retail price of these is $15.25. I feel like I've seen them priced anywhere from $1,200 in the past to like, I believe when I was offered a pair last year, they were around $13.50. I don't think the price is gonna go up anytime soon. These shoes are popular, and now that Chanel has made them a classic, the price is gonna stay firm. I know somebody's gonna get in the comments and be like, these shoes aren't worth it. And I'm like, I totally get it. If you don't see this being a style shoe that you're gonna wear for a long time, I definitely say buy a dupe. I know ASOS and Steve Madden have similar pairs for $100 or less. The only reason that I splurged on these shoes is because I had bought three pairs of dupes and they just didn't compare. When I got these shoes, it was like angels singing. <laughs> these were the first pair I'd actually seen in person. And I think if I hadn't have seen them in person, I, I probably would still be holding out for the button CC version or hoping that Chanel would come out with like the classic CC version, but so we already know that Chanel does not sell shoes and bags online. So you're gonna have to go in the store if you want this shoe. Currently online, there's like a painted calfskin. I wasn't feeling this. I actually bought these shoes at Saks Fifth Avenue. I had had brunch with a friend earlier and then we decided to go to Michigan Avenue and just kind of shop. We actually were in Saks Fifth Avenue for like perfume and we walked by the shoe section and I was about to go downstairs and I saw this shoe. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've seen these shoes in the wild, but it has been a whole pandemic and we have been inside. So there hasn't been a lot of times for me to really see this shoe in public. I was like a moth to a flame. I went straight to it. The salesperson initially told me they only had a 40 and I was willing to try it just because I want to try this shoe on to see if it lives up to the height. Luckily for me, they had this 39 and a half. I sat in the store for a good 15 minutes hemming and hawing about my decision. I was hemming and hawing more about the price and not the size. While I was there, I probably should have Googled what size to get, but I was so excited to just to see these in my in my actual size. If So if you are looking for these shoes, I do recommend you try your local Chanel boutique, Saks Fifth Avenue and Neiman Marcus. So in the US, those are the three places you can buy Chanel. You're not gonna see it online. And if you're looking for these shoes, you're gonna have to go in the store. If you call and ask about the shoe, they're probably gonna tell you they don't have it. For me, it was just a fluke. I was shopping for something else, saw it lucked up. But because these shoes are now considered classic, even if you don't get them this year, you can probably get them next year. Unfortunately, they're, they might be at a higher price. So the main reason I hadn't bought the Button CC versions was I tried to buy them on the resale market. They were over $2,000. Now, most of the people who bought, who bought the originals spent under $1,200. A lot of the shoes that people were selling on the resale market had already been worn and they were over $2,000. So I was like, I actually had resigned myself to not even buying these shoes. I thought it was gonna be me and my Zara dupes all summer long. <laughs> So the one thing about the on the resale market, I know last summer when I was thinking about buying these, they were over 2000 Because they are now a classic shoe, I have been noticing some of the prices are going down for certain popular sizes. I think I was on the real reel and I saw a couple pair that were $1,800. I believe they had been worn. Unfortunately, if you want a shoe in brand new pristine condition, you may be having to pay $2,600. So definitely find a Chanel essay and start a relationship and make sure that they hit you up the next time they get a shipment. Be very careful about buying these shoes on the resale market. There's a ton of fakes. One of my friends bought a white pair that she thought were real. After she got them authenticated, they came back fake. And we later found out that there's a lot of fakes on the market. So buying them resale, make sure you buy it from a, a reputable place. I've heard eBay is a really bad place to buy these. Of course, you're gonna get better prices on eBay, but there's a lot of risk. I found a really good article from Legit Grails on how to authenticate this shoe. Always nice to be able to look at your items and know what makes it authentic. I'll leave that link in the description. But I'm sure people are gonna be asking me, what made me buy it? I love an expensive bag, but I often don't buy expensive shoes because you're stepping on them. Like I love a three to $500 shoe. I don't own very many $800 shoes. <laughs> As we already know, the biggest con of these shoes is the price. But I will say the versatility of this shoe was the main reason I bought it. I've worn my dupes with everything and I've realized that this shoe matches my personal style very well. I'm into very feminine clothing, but nothing that's too girly. I think these shoes go perfectly with my aesthetic. Another pro of these shoes is that they are super special looking. Yes, there are a lot of dupes, but this is the Rolls Royce of granddad shoes. I've actually seen some luxury shoe brands that are making things that are similar. Like I know Prada has their own version. It's very, very similar. 
The Chanel Dad sandals are the OG. Another pro is the cushion sole. I think you could definitely walk long distances in these. I probably will not because they are expensive, but you could. Most of these dupes, they're not super comfortable. I know a lot of people say Birkenstocks are really comfortable. I've never worn Birkenstocks, so I, I'm not able to compare the comfort of these to Birkenstocks. The footbed of Birkenstocks tend to be a little bit tough, but I, I know that they mold to your feet. This is definitely cushioned and you can tell that it's gonna mold to your foot also. This slippery sole is definitely a con. I do feel like this area is gonna be susceptible the Knicks. The good thing about a $1,000 pair of shoes is you can definitely get it resold. I love this little Chanel on the bottom, so I, I'm definitely gonna put something to protect it over because I want like a clear rubber coating over this bottom because I don't want them to resole my shoe and take the Chanel off. I want my Chanel bottoms. There is a little bit of non-slip coating on this heel, but it's not on the whole shoe, which is a bummer. As I mentioned, my, my foot is slightly wide, so I love these adjustable straps. I know a lot of people with narrow feet are wearing these and they're just like, you have to wear them a little bit tight. I think because my foot is slightly wide, these fit me perfectly. I don't have to wear them super tight or anything else. I do love the ability to adjust because these are summertime shoes and we all know our feet do swell more in the summer. So there may be a time where I may have to like let them out a little bit. The biggest pro is also the quality of these shoes. Comparing them to any of my other dad sandal dupes, it's all about what you want. Do you want a Rolls Royce on your foot or do you want a Hyundai Sonata? That's basically it. So I think the biggest question is how do I style these? So before I bought these, I was looking for a sturdy black shoe to wear in the summer. Last summer, I wore my dad sandals, number one with dresses. I'm a big summer dress person, whether it be a midi dress, a mini dress, or even a maxi dress. As I mentioned, these shoes give a slightly masculine edge to everything you're wearing. That's not a bad thing. Even if I think about the Chanel Classic Flap, the clean lines, the hardware makes it a little bit masculine. It kind of makes things a little bit more edgy. I love that about this. These shoes make all my dresses a little bit more cool. The next thing I love to wear these with is denim shorts. I have a couple pair of denim cutoffs that I love to wear in the summer. And I'll either wear them like with just a cute little top or with the blazer. Even if I just want to wear the denim shorts, a t-shirt, and these shoes, I'm going to look more elevated than somebody who's wearing like some sneakers and the same outfit. I don't wear a lot of denim jeans in the summer unless they do have distressing. But I love these with like a nice straight leg jean. I have been seeing a couple people wear, trying to wear these with ankle length skinny jeans. That is not my favorite aesthetic. I definitely love these with like a mom jean, a straight leg jean, something that's not super fitted. Jeans that are slightly elevated, maybe even a little slouchy, go better with this versus like a super tight fitted skinny jean. That's just my opinion though. Another thing I've seen people wear this with is like a summer suit. Even though the oversized suit is a little bit masculine and these are a little bit masculine, they're gonna be harmonious rather than fight with each other. I love blazers in the summer, so I know this is gonna go well. As I said, definitely gonna wear this with a denim jacket. The weather at night is so unpredictable in the summertime. It can be super, super hot in the day, but at night it could get a little chilly. I always bring a denim jacket. If I throw a denim jacket over a dress with these shoes, it's just gonna elevate it. Even if I throw a blazer on, it looks great. Besides the skinny jeans and maybe a cocktail dress, I don't really know very much that I would wear in the summer that this wouldn't go with. Let me know in the comments if there's some things that you don't think that this goes with. As I said before, these shoes are my aesthetic. They're not everybody's aesthetic, but they're mine. I'm really, really in love with these. After the summer's done, I will definitely do a review video about me and these Chanel Dad sandals and our hot girl summer. All right, so those are my initial impressions of the Chanel Dad sandals. As I mentioned, that was my biggest regret. I'm so happy that these shoes are in my collection. I feel like they're gonna be a summer staple for me. I'm planning to do a video about like my wardrobe stables and these will definitely be in that video. If you're looking for a video about more of my favorite Chanel items, I'm gonna link that video here. All right, see you next time. Bye.